Today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm going to show you how to make this roasted spaghetti squash alfredo. Hey guys, welcome back to Low Carb with Jennifer. We are making a roasted spaghetti squash alfredo. And so let's get started with that because it's easy, but getting this spaghetti squash going, it just takes a little bit of um, prep. We've already, so we want to, to make this a lot easier to cut. So what we do, what I love to do is I poke a big hole in it with a sharp knife and then I put it on a microwave safe plate and I microwave it for five minutes. I've already done that. So now it's going to be a lot easier to cut in half. So we're going to want to cut it in half lengthwise. It makes it easier to cut in half and it also cooks more quickly in the oven. Okay, there's our two ends, our two sides. And you know, I didn't cut it evenly, but whatever, that's fine. So now we're going to scrape the insides out with a spoon. Scrape out all those seeds. I'm gonna transfer my spaghetti squash to this sheet tray. And one thing I forgot to mention is that this was about a three and a half pound spaghetti squash. This would make about four servings of spaghetti squash. So now we're going to season the insides with about a tablespoon of avocado per side, avocado oil. And then I'm going to season each side with salt and pepper. So now we're going to put these face down on our sheet tray, and these are gonna bake in a 450 degree oven. They're going to bake for about 20 to 25 minutes, but to test if they're done, it might take longer, it really just depends on your spaghetti squash. To test if they're done, you'll be able to, peel, to pierce the skin of the spaghetti squash with a fork. So in the oven, these go. While our spaghetti squash is cooking, we can make our Alfredo sauce. So you, you do not have to make your own Alfredo sauce for this recipe. You can buy, you can just use store-bought. Reyos makes a really good Alfredo sauce, but sometimes I like to make a homemade sauce. So we're going to start with one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, and we're gonna add our seasonings. We're gonna add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of dried basil, one teaspoon of kosher salt and a teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of dried oregano. So we're just gonna let this heat over about medium low heat. Stir in our seasonings. Our cream is starting to get hot. So we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese. This is one cup of shredded Parmesan. So now we want to stir this in and let it heat just for a little bit till it starts to melt and then we're gonna remove it from the heat and just let the residual heat melt the Parmesan cheese. If you get it too hot, then your cheese is just going to separate into a big clump and just turn into a glob, globby mess. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the heat and keep stirring. Okay, our Alfredo sauce is looking good, so I'm going to set this aside, and then when our um, spaghetti squash is ready, we will finish this up. Okay, look at these amazing spaghetti squash. They are roasted, they have so much flavor, and they're perfectly done. Um, these took 25 minutes, so now we're going to carefully scrape the, the, the flesh on the inside this into like spaghetti just like this. Okay, now we're going to spoon our delicious Alfredo sauce over top. Now, how good does that look? Let's go in for a bite. Mm. <laughs> that alfredo sauce has so much flavor honestly make this don't buy store-bought make this it is so good because you know spaghetti squash and even spaghetti doesn't have that much flavor but look at that and this sauce mm, it's so good okay guys 
Be sure you check out this recipe and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.